Have you ever had a hit? Um, these days, it's quite possible if you have, uh, if you've ever uploaded a video to YouTube, or if you tweet, <laughs> or do anything online, it's possible that ordinary people like you and me can have a hit. Um, I'm trying to think if I've ever had a hit, sort of. Uh, a long time ago, I made a video when my little sister was visiting Japan and um, I videoed her and then I played it backwards <laughs> and I had her walking backwards. That's very confusing, isn't it? But I, I made a video of her, but I, I got her, I said, okay, Jane, walk backwards. And she would walk backwards and I'd film her walking backwards. Then when I uploaded the video, I reversed the video and it went forward. So it looked like she was walking along and everybody else was walking backwards. Hard to explain, but it was quite good. Anyway, it's kind of just a funny little video. I put that up on YouTube and it got, I think, 8,000 hits. So, you know, I didn't make any money from it, but it was kind of closest I've ever come to being uh, a viral hit, like a virus spreading um, 8,000 hits. Anyway, have you ever had a hit? Um, if you ever have, or if you haven't, and you wonder how do people get hits, well, that's the subject of a book by a guy called Derek Thompson. He wrote a book called Hit Makers, and he's trying to look at what was the science of a hit. What he concluded, unfortunately, was you before, before you have a hit, you can't predict if it will become a hit. It's just impossible. But after the event, you can look back and see certain factors that made something successful. That's not really very useful, but it's kind of interesting <laughs> just to see what, why something became super popular. He has um, four, or at least that I could tell, are four main points that make something a hit. First of all, number one, quality. You can advertise a not very good product, but it will not be a great hit once the advertising money runs out, unless it is also good quality or particularly catchy. Well, that means like, you know, like a song. Uh, if you have any kind of, uh, you know, some, some Beatles songs or something, you know, whatever song, it has to have a catchy chorus that you want to repeat. To love you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Da -da 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 -da. That's an old one, right? <laughs> Going back in time for that one. Uh, but uh, any, any hits that are popular now, good ones that stay around for a long time, will have a catchy line in it that's easy to remember there's some quality to it that makes it hit worthy think of like frozen from disney let it go let it go you know for a while there that was the only song that was playing everywhere <laughs> okay so it has to have a good the thing itself has to have some good quality to it um number two same but different well what is that quality hits are often very similar to what went before but with some key element that is different we like strange things to seem familiar and familiar things to, to be a little bit strange. Um, so, you know, you know, with pop music, a lot of songs are very similar. There's just one little element that's different. The, the voice is slightly different. The guitar is different. The drum beat is different. Um, I've written down here, Star Wars is a Western, but in space, kind of. You know, Star Wars is a dramatic story, but it's really, it's really the, actually Star Wars is really the story of America um, having a rebellion and becoming an independent country. But instead of the story of America fighting England, England becomes the evil empire with um, Darth Vader and uh, the Americans are the, uh, are the uh, what, what is it, the, the rebels. Yeah, it's a very familiar story, but it's just one little difference. It's in space. Maybe. Okay, so that's so quality, same but different. And then number three, broadcasts. Very few hits are purely because of their virality, not be, just because they spread. There's also been uh, some broadcasting. Broadcasting means from one person to many, like TV. TV is a typical broadcast. One person makes the move, makes the program, and many, many people see it. Uh, in my example, um, the video I made of my of my sister it became popular because it was picked up by a popular website at the time of, uh, about japan for people who liked japan foreigners who liked japan and they said oh look at this fun video it's great 
I forget what the name of the video, what the name of the website is. So it wasn't just that me, little me, magically became a hit. Somebody who already had an audience found it and passed it on. Um, so it could be one person to many, for example, a display in a busy shop or an advertising campaign on TV. Yeah, if you have a product that you want to be a hit, you put it everywhere and eventually it will be. Kind of the final point, uh, number four is popularity. Sometimes things become really popular because they are already popular. Think of a um, restaurant. If you pass a restaurant and there's always a line of people outside, you think, oh, it must be a good restaurant. I must go there. You have no idea whether it's good or bad. It's just other people think it's good, so you think it is. Um, another example of that is uh, like a bestseller. You know, this book is a bestseller. Well, it might be rubbish, but oh, other people think it's good. Therefore, I will buy it. You're only buying it because some other people have bought it. That's psychology. So things become, once they become a little bit popular, they can become very popular. So anyway, these are these are some elements that, that make something a hit. Let's have a look at some questions, shall we? Let me zoom down here. Uh, questions. What hit songs, memes, you know, memes are like popular videos or things on the internet. What hit songs, memes, or other products are popular at the moment? What kind of hits are around us? Number two, have you ever bought something because it was popular already? Lots of books I've bought that way. Number three, would you like to work in advertising? Why or why not? <laughs> I asked that question because if you can figure out how to make something a hit, you can have a good career in advertising. Would that appeal to you or not? Just some ideas there, one, two, three. Okay, and um, uh, we'll discuss it when I see you next. Thank you very much. Let me close this off. Okay, thank you.